Hey, it's Xena, Warthog Princess, and welcome, welcome back. This is a lug video, um, two different orders, one item from QVC, the brand new Rumble, and the rest is from Lug Live. Um, but the Rumble, yeah, so I saw it, I, I think it was on Facebook, and I liked it, so I went right over to QVC, took a quick look at it, bought it, didn't really even digest the dimensions of it or whatnot. It is bigger than I thought, but I love what it is. Yeah, it's perfect for me. I, I like the size of bag. I mean, look, that's the, the width and the bottom. So it's a pretty good sized bag. I really like the configuration too, now that I've really looked at it. Um, you know, sometimes I just know I like something and I'll figure it out when I get it. Um, this is one of those times. Um, but the Rumble, it's a great size bag. It does have that chunky zipper pull. You can clip that off, but then you're just left with a clip. But you can put a bag charm there or do something else. You open that up and it's a pretty good size pocket. You have a single clear view pocket here. This one came with Faith, Love, and Family on the pretty background. Um, I'll put that back in there. Actually, no, I take that out. Um, but it's a good size pocket. So gusset wise, it has its own gusset. So if you look on the side, you can kind of see here. I know the lighting is not that great, but it's a full finger thickness. So you could put pouches, you could put a wallet in there, you could put other things. Sunglasses in a sunglass case, etc. Also on the front, on the side here, you have a hidden pocket with a zipper. And it, it is that whole panel, so it's a big pocket. It's just the one side zipper, nice smooth zippers. I love that. Um, so that's the front. On the sides, you have these side zipper pockets as well, and they're a decent size. They too have about a finger, finger and a half of gussets. You can put things in there like car keys, hand sanitizer, stuff like that really easily on both sides of the bag. And then on the back, you have a zipper pocket that goes all the way across the side. And here you get a really decent look at the interior pattern. It's like these stripes and flowers. This is the brushed gray, which I debated. I, I like the raspberry and I would like to order it. Of course, they're not on sale anymore. So and then I might wait, I might miss it. But, um, you know, I'm trying to not be crazy right up front. I have to check it out first. And I thought this was a nice neutral. It's the brushed material, so it is... Like a little bit more robust feel and a classy look so anyways i do like it um i know it's boring gray but i have stuff that goes with it so i don't care inside you have um the handles they kind of are uh, like they're not quite flapped down but they do lay across the bag so if you're using the crossbody shoulder strap they'll probably just lay best just laying across the bag itself that's fine but it does kind of annoy me when I have to move them all the time to get into the bag in that. Okay, that's a small price to pay. Um, but it is a big bag with a nice, let's see. It is a single zipper all the way across, but it zips. You really can get down into the bag because it is quite large, so you can get in there. Um, it has a nice big strap, removable, adjustable, and you have inside, where is it? On what I would call the back, you have the key bungee with the clip. And you have two pen slots. I don't know, sorry, you can't see that. Two pen slots and then a elastic cargo pocket. And on the front side of the bag, you have the big clear view pocket right here where the tissue is. So that's really a nice bag, great size. Let me just look at the capacity of this thing. Also, on the front side of the bag, like on the back, there's no pocket, but on the front between the strap and the main compartment, you do have a magnetic snap closure. Inside, you have this pocket that is fully soft lined. No, it's not fleece, it's more like a microfiber felt, kind of, not felt, but like a microfiber. And then in front part of it, you actually have your cell phone pocket, and it's a horizontal orientation but that has its own magnetic closure and you have big soft pockets you can put sunglasses and phone or jewelry whatever I mean it's the whole thing is soft line so that's kind of an interesting change right there very accessible and very fun so that is the rumble other things I got I got two of the coop XLs I think I I just really like this size. It's a great pouch size for backpacks, 
for travel bags. It stands alone as a belt bag, as a crossbody shoulder bag. You could make it a wristlet if you have wristlet straps somewhere. Um, but I've got the Flamingo Blue. Let me the different lighting. This is just natural light in the door, but I know it's bright because I have the screen closed. But um, anyways, so Flamingo Blue, and then it has inside, of course you have the card. You have a strap, and the inside is the stripes with the sprinkles. That's what I call it anyways. <laughs> Stripes with the sprinkles. So the front pocket is just a pocket, and then the second pocket is a built in wallet. So you have a zipper pocket, and then you have a bunch of card slots. You have six with three and three with a big cash drawer as well. But if you don't want to use it as a wallet, it's still it's half the bag worth of space there. So you can use it for just a pocket. And it came with one of the cards that says, Wherever you go, may your guardian angel watch over you. So that's pretty. I'll put that with the other cards. So that's the Coop XL. Um, I got it in two patterns. I got it in Fireworks Navy because I love the patriotic stuff. And it was a nice supplement to other things. Now I feel like I have, not this, but I definitely have something to go with my Huggy. But I can't remember what. Um, anyways, inside this you have the red, white, and blue stripes. So white and blue with the red highlight between them. But pattern placement wise, on the flamingos, I got pretty decent. I have one upright and two upside down, but you got all the colors there. It's quilted on the front, not quilted on the back. And I have a couple headless flamingos, but I did get the colors. Okay. Um, the fireworks navy one, I've got a good representation of the different fireworks. You definitely know what it is. And on the back, you can really tell. So I'm, ha I'm happy with that. And then I got three coin purses. I don't have my other ones here to compare. These seem slightly bigger. I, I don't know if they are, but they seem slightly bigger. And these are quilted, whereas the other ones weren't. Um, I, I like the quilting, but I don't think it's necessary. I think it actually gives it a little padding to it so that will protect like if you want to put your airpods in there or something it will protect it a little better than the not padded or not quilted but yeah so it's one big giant diamond on both sides and it is centered so you're not going to get like an offset diamond they're all centered on the piece it has the clip and then it has the zipper zips halfway around and opens up it's just a pouch there's your interior so this first one is butterfly gray and I definitely got some good butterflies on there. But the stitching does break up the pattern a little. Not bad. I, again, I'm not complaining about the stitching. I'm just saying that with the ones that were unquilted, you didn't have that. Um, I got the violet because, you know, purple. <laughs> and I do have some violet things, so this will be a nice addition. And the inside is bright floral pattern. And then I got sea life blue. And pattern placement wise, I've got a, a headless seahorse, I've got some stars and corals, and on the back more stars and corals and seaweed. Um, so you definitely can tell what it is and definitely matches my other stuff. All of them have this little Im embedded lug, gunmetal gray logo on them. And inside of this one is the this, this stripes. And that's my alarm going off. All about that base. So, gotta run to work in a moment. Um, but I got the boomerang again has a navy blue top and the multi dots navy let me turn that music off sorry about that <laughs> um, I've got to go see my neighbors in a while so I set an alarm so I would not miss them uh, sorry about that. Um, okay, so if you're not aware, Lug was um, one of the official D23, Destination 23 for Disney. And they announced on Facebook that they might be having 
some of their things show up in the boxes. Well, I did get lucky and I did get the items that they were talking about. Well, really it was just this red bird, which is orange bird actually. He's yellow with an orange head. I don't know if he's supposed to be an orange, like an orange fruit. I don't know really anything about the bird. I know it had lug and D23 and it is a Disney pin. So it has this cute little bird. It's like enamel. And then on the back, it has the Mickey pin things. So super cool. I'm very happy that I got it. Like, I've, yeah, so Destination 23. Um, and then they also sent a packet of postcards. And so I'll go through these really quickly, but they also sent a coloring book. And in the coloring book is each of these. So you'll see them again in a moment. But there's Canada. They're all about Epcot. Um, what does that say? bursting into your imagination. So you got figment. And I think this is a lug bag. Like, I don't know if these are all representations of lug bags, because if you look, each of them has a lug bag on it with characters. I think that's the idea. So looking at them, you've got Italy with Minnie. You got Mickey going in Germany. What else do we have? Taste of Florida. So there's your orange bird. And I do think it's an orange, like literally an orange based on that. And then Hawaii. I don't know if that's like a monkey. <laughs> it's cute, but I don't know. But I go on to see these bags. And then United Kingdom, you got Winnie the Pooh. And is that it? We go all the way around. Yeah, so there you go. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing these bags. I did see a bag that they had in one of the social media posts that was showing a D23 log shopping. And they had like a puddle jumper in a pretty, it almost looked like a teal blue, almost like with an iridescent, which is the whole theme with the Disney 100. So I'm not certain about that, but it had Mickey head quilting on the front. And that was all I saw. And there was a couple different pieces. Haven't seen anything in person, haven't seen any formal release of any of that. Uh, but the coloring book does give you, like for each of the postcards, they have the postcard in color and then they have the blank that you can color yourself. So it's kind of cool. Um, the bad example, because it's on the back of the, the thing. So you have the picture to color and then on the back you have the color version of what that was. So you have each of them in here and it's it's representative color. So that's really cool. I, I like getting the special extras and learning more about what they're up to and definitely love the bags. So there you go. That's it for this one. Sorry for the interruption midway. Hope you're all doing well. See you again soon. Bye for now.